Hey guys, what's up? So today I have my February favorites. I know it's super late for this video, but it's better late than never. I'm getting, I'm trying to get better at doing my stuff on time and I put myself on a schedule so hopefully I get videos to you in the time it should be. So from now on, look out for my monthly favorites video actually at the beginning of the month and not in the middle of the month. Anyway, so January had a whole lot of things, including my Naked 3 palette giveaway. Here we go. The winner is... Congratulations, and I hope you enjoy my absolute favorite palette at the moment. Let's get on with my February favorite. I didn't find a whole lot of things in February, but that's okay. The things I did find were absolutely awesome and they worked like really great for me. For hair, I actually received this item in my January glossy box, I think it was, or birch box, one of those. I'm not really sure. I'm subscribed to so many things. Uh, but this is the Serge Norm Normant Meta Revive Dry Conditioner. I have actually been out of the loop when it comes to dry conditioners. I've actually never really owned one or like heard of a good one or heard of them at all really. I use dry shampoo like it's nobody's business but I have not ever tried a dry conditioner and this one I mean from what I can tell it's really awesome since I have no experience with dry conditioner I have nothing to compare it to but I really really like it. It smells really good. It makes your ha your hair look like you just washed it. It, se it really does seem to condition it and make it extremely shiny so I really like it. For skincare I have actually discovered something interesting that I'm sure a lot of people don't really know about. I'm a science person so I like to do like tons of research and like case studies on things before I try it out and I read a study about grapeseed oil and how good it is for your skin particularly your face and anything that's oily tends a lot of people tend to stay away from that because they're afraid it's going to make their complexion a lot oilier and it actually has made mine extremely oily but that's good for me because I have extremely dry skin so I went to uh, where did I get this I can't remember like a vitamin store I think it was and I found now solution grapeseed oil 100% pure sensitive skin care and it's a moisturizer so you use it like you would a cream moisturizer except it's oil I incorporate this in my nighttime routine so I have the evening the eight hours for it to seep into my skin instead of you know using it during the day where your face could seem really really oily with makeup you might want to do research on on it for yourself because I had a hard time believing that grapeseed oil was going to be good for me until I have found the many, many like case studies and experiments done with it on human on people and their and how much it improves their complexion. So that's why I'm starting to use it now. I have another thing for skincare and it is the Origin Super Spot Remover. This is acne treatment gel and whenever you get a pimple all you do is pop, take a little bit and pop it on. This was like $10 which is like really really cheap for what it is like it really really works I have a pimple one day and the next it's gone except for these two pimples ignore them huge pimples I hate them it really really works it's the first acne solution that actually really really works for me two brushes this month that I have been loving and they are the Real Techniques powder brush and blush brush I love these so much these don't eat up your your product like other brushes do and it's full of hair and it's like really really nice and soft and it's really I use this one for my stay matte powder to even out like whatever I have on my face that it like just needs to be even out and this blush brush is absolutely perfect for going along the cheekbones love this they're both su they have super soft bristles and I absolutely recommend these these are great brushes for the price that you pay for them you can't get better quality brushes for that price absolutely guarantee it. I have three things from back. The first is the Prep and Prime lip stuff. So what I do, what you do is just put this on before you put lipstick on and it makes it last the whole day. Literally it really does. It's really moisturizing and it's really nourishing for your lips and it also makes your lips la lipstick last the whole day. It's clear, it's white like this and it, co it goes on clear and then you put on your lip product and it works like a miracle. Love this stuff. Next thing from MAC is the MAC Fix Plus 
I absolutely love this stuff. This is my favorite product from MAC ever. Now, I use it every single day. It literally makes your makeup last the whole day. Like, li like my makeup does not come off with this stuff. All you do is spray 12 inches away. Two sprays. I usually do the top half, bottom half, and that's it. It's just like a spray, so... You can see that. Last thing from MAC is my first paint pot, and this is the Painterly Paint Pot. Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and it's this nude color. And I use it as a second eyeshadow base, and it makes my eyeshadow last the whole day. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't crease, you can't see the wrinkles in your eyelids. This stuff acts perfect as a primer alone or you could use it on top of your primer. I kind of like to use a primer and then this so that it just has the extra elongation. The next thing is from Tarte and it's the Tarte CC Cream. This is in Fair. This was also in my haul. I bought it from QVC. The other Tarte products did not make it on my monthly favorites because I just have not really uh, loved them as much as I've loved this. This is a CC cream, which I have never owned. This is my first CC cream. I honestly didn't believe in CC creams or BB creams until I started YouTube, honestly, when I saw that how necessary it was for your makeup to last the whole day and just as a primer and just, it just adds that extra oomph to your makeup. So this, I was really iffy about. I was like, okay, let me just try this, my first CC cream ever. And I've honestly come to love it. It looks like this. All you do is put it on before before you put on foundation. It evens your skin tone basically. And I have a lot of redness especially when I wake up in the morning and I'm starting to like starting the day. I'm trying to find something to even that out, take away the redness. But this like literally evens the redness before I put on my foundation. Sometimes I'll put on foundation and it won't do the job as I'd like. So that's why I love this stuff so much. Next two things are from Bobbi Brown. The first is a blush and this one's in apricot. Uh, I absolutely love this color. It's the most gorgeous color ever. This was also in my haul that I had in February. Look at the pigmentation on that and the color. It's absolutely perfect for this time of year. It's this like bright pink and I just love it. It doesn't match everything. That's what I don't like because obviously you can't wear this and wear a red lip because that would be like way too much color and like oh my god too much. But I do love this color anyway. The other thing from Bobbi Brown is a lipstick. This is part of their spring collection and this is in neon pink. And the pigmentation is outrageous and it has a bit of sparkle. It's really, really moisturizing and it's this, just this bright electric pink color that I love to wear. I even wear this for work and I honestly don't care. Like, I love the color so much. I have two things for body this month. The first is from The Body Shop. This is actually the first second thing I've ever owned from the body shop and I just don't really shop at the body shop all that much <laughs> so <laughs> so um, yeah I just ordered this online because it was on sale this is the almond hand hand and nail cream and it's moisturizes it moisturizes hands and conditions nails with sweet almond oil and community fair trade Brazil nut oil so it has two types of oil that are extremely moisturizing for your hands my hands are like so disgustingly dry right now it's ridiculous like the other day I shook someone's hand and they were like whoa your hands are rough and I was like so embarrassed so I really need to take care of this honestly and this is starting to help me my hands are getting a bit softer which I'm glad it smells the smell is extremely strong honestly and I, I I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that but as you um like continue rubbing it in rubbing it in your hands it gets less and less pungent. Another body favorite is from Lush. Now this is a limited edition thing from Lush that was like a Christmas limited edition one. And I really, I really, really hate to include limited edition things in my videos, in my monthly favorites because you can't really get them all the time and it makes me feel kind of bad when people are like, oh my god, why are you telling us this? when we can't even get this right now but I have to I have to I love this stuff so much it's the rose jam and this is one of their their Christmas scents and this is shower gel and it's sweet tart and wonderly wonderfully flesh fresh <laughs> this indulgent blend of rose vanilla and lemon leaves leaves you smelling of a rose garden and nourishing argan oil gets skin generously soft. So this has argan oil. It smells like the best smell in the whole wide world. Mm -hmm. And I just can't, I don't know, love this so much. It smells like 
it doesn't and it doesn't smell like typical rose because honestly I don't know if I would really like that all that much because I don't know I'm not a huge fan of like roses smell like the actual flower but this is absolutely amazing now let's get into my favorites for food see this isn't just a beauty favorites I like to have other favorites the first thing in my food favorites are, is this mystic orange carrot juice I have an extreme vitamin deficiency and I forget to take my vitamins on a daily basis but this has 200% daily value vitamins A and C and it tastes amazing you don't taste the carrot as much as I thought you would I was like orange carrot oh that's gonna taste like so bad um, because you know carrots but then carrots have like this like sweet smell a sweet taste to it too so it really you really can't taste taste the, just like just carrots because combined it tastes like amazing I don't really like juice all that much, but this is just absolutely amazing. I like to drink one almost every single day. The last item of food are Takis. These are super popular. I, I don't know if everywhere, but at least where I live. Sorry, the bag is really noisy. These are almost gone. Now, these are really, really, really spicy chips. They look like this. And yeah, you could just see the spice on it when you grab one. I've been loving them all of February. Probably, probably will love them for all of eternity forever and ever love them now for tv i've absolutely been loving the oc which is my all-time favorite show next to gilmore girls and friends but i rewatch the series like once a year at least um because i just love the show so much and i relate to the the characters lives so well i started rewatching them in february and yeah i have all the seasons on dvd it's my favorite show ever I've also been re-watching the show Heroes on Netflix. I watched the show in college and I fell in love with it. I don't think I finished it, but I, as soon as I started re-watching it, they came out with an announcement that they're going to like come back with a mini series of heroes it's gonna be called like heroes reborn or something and i'm just so excited like i started re-watching it again and now oh my gosh i just i'm so happy now for songs i've been loving let her go by passenger the, the melody is gorgeous the song is just absolutely gorgeous and i fell in love with it um because of the super bowl commercial with the the budweiser super bowl commercial with the puppy and everything i just love that song so much and i've also been loving let it go by and from frozen sung by adina menzel i absolutely love her i love the song i think the song is amazing and the both of those songs together um are a great mashup and i have heard one here on youtube by sam sui and it's a gorgeous mashup and it made my life because I love those songs so much right now. And now it's giveaway time again. This giveaway is not as extravagant as winning the Naked 3 palette, but hey, it's a giveaway and I'm just happy to do one. I feel like these two brushes are absolutely necessary for any makeup connoisseur to own. So I'm going to be giving these two away. What you have to do to win is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and Leave a comment telling me your favorite makeup brushes. Whether they're real techniques or something else, I don't really care. I just want to know your favorite makeup brushes. I'm always looking for new makeup brushes, so let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!